Hi everyone, James with IntelliChat. I wanted to discuss uh, something called zero-shot learning. Um, I think that there's a kind of big misunderstanding about ChatGPT, how it's currently being used as a toy, um, and how we can utilize ChatGPT, but really other large language models as well, because there's there's several out there that are really good, um, and, and start to use those as tools. One of the biggest things that, that, that companies, right, you know, are, are struggling with is they, they want to be able to ask a question about their own data and have the large language model humanly answer that in, in, in multiple, language, uh, multiple languages as well. So uh, how can we do that? Well, if you just go and ask ChatGPT about your specific question, uh, you know, about your company, you're going to get some something that, that may or may not be relevant, something maybe it found on the internet prior to June 2021. Whatever it is, it's probably not going to work for you. And especially if you have any data that's proprietary, there's there's just no you know real place for, uh, you know, an open language model. So what we have to do is something called zero-shot learning. So zero-shot learning says that uh, the large language models are able to answer a question on something that it wasn't trained on. And the only way to do that is to provide it the context with which to answer the question. Now we use vector databases, which essentially are high speed databases that allow us to ask a question, get a couple pieces of relevant content out in a very short period of time in a matter of a second or two, and then take the, that context and the question, send it over to the large language model like ChatGPT and say, hey, answer this question with these pieces of context. And then they can do that and they can do it in multiple languages. And that is essentially zero shot learning.